right now turning to Iran, Saudi Arabia, Russia. Uh, she also talked about establishing a resilient industrial supply chain to serve a strong army and win wars. Is he referring to Taiwan? Is he referring to Ukraine? Well, I think he's likely referring to both, but much more uh, Taiwan, and he's serving notice on the United States. But, you know, I think uh, Xi has got a problem here. He's got an economy that's uh, really not growing as rapidly as it was. He's got an aging population uh, that's going to place strains on uh, social insurance programs. Uh, and uh, with that, a, a declining uh, base uh, to, uh, to increases industrial and, and cyber capabilities. Uh, the uh, certainly uh, also uh, the uh, alliance that he's uh, forming with Russia is not a, a long-term strong alliance that's going to benefit him. He has uh, nearly uh, three times as much trade with the United States as he does with Russia. He's got more than twice as much trade with the EU, and I'd point out both the EU and, and the U.S. Uh, are aligned against Russia. So I, I have to question how far uh, she really wants to push this partnership with Russia. He's going to want to keep Putin as very much a junior partner in this arrangement. Well, and with that said, it is sounding more and more likely like President Xi will visit Russia soon, possibly next week, which is earlier than many had thought. And there's speculation China may actually be offering to broker a peace deal in regards to Ukraine. How likely is that scenario? I think it's very likely. Uh, you know, the latest reporting just came out that he there is uh, is a possibility that he's going to be visiting with Zelensky. He's met several times uh, with uh, Putin since the outbreak of the war last year. Uh, he has yet to meet with Zelensky uh, since the war began. Uh, the uh, Chinese just helped uh, mediate or negotiate a, an arrangement between Iran and Saudi Arabia, which have been on the outs for the last seven or eight years. They're, they're really uh, mortal enemies in fighting a proxy war in Yemen. Uh, and, and he's just managed to uh, get them to reestablish diplomatic relations. So by doing so, she is uh, showing that China can be a player on the world stage as a diplomatic uh, intermediary. Uh, this uh, offers great promise in terms of soft power. How does the U.S. perceive that? I mean, a peaceful end to this conflict is what the West would like to see. So if China is able to broker some sort of deal and talk some sense into Vladimir Putin, uh, who wouldn't support that? Well, I, I think uh, certainly publicly we are supporting that. And, and uh, I think we'll all, uh, all support that as long as Ukraine has got a, a voice. And that's why it's important that she meet with uh, Zelensky so that uh, he can understand the Ukrainian point of view in this. Uh, this will add uh, a great deal of international prestige to China among non-aligned nations, among the nations of uh, of uh, Africa and, and uh, Asia and, and uh, South America. I want to talk about the defense spending, the, the spending. The Biden administration is asking Congress for $824 billion in defense spending to load up on things like advanced missiles, modern jets, to meet the perceived threat that they think China may pose. Um, this is about perspective, though, right? This is a, a small fraction of what the U.S. is spending overall. Put that into perspective. Well, sure, Marnie. You know, the, it amounts to less than 3% of our gross domestic product. That is all the goods and services produced in this country. Uh, we uh, urge NATO, in fact, it's a NATO requirement that members of NATO spend at least 2% of their GDP on defense. So when you consider the size of our economy uh, and our worldwide uh, obligations and our worldwide interests, it's really not a whole lot of money. Uh, and you have to, uh, people have to realize, too, that we're making a huge transition from the wars that we fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. And by the way, we'll be paying for those wars for decades to come. Uh, so we're making a huge uh, uh, transition from fighting a, uh, a, a relatively low uh, level conflict to, uh, to potential war between great powers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.